Hi, I'm John Evans, and I've been invited to chat with Tim about the 25th anniversary of the Prime Ministry Council. And for all those folks out there this evening, I want to say thank you for working with me on the Prime Ministry Council TV show and a radio show. And for all the folks who didn't make it this evening, I want to thank you also for helping me uh, making those two uh, areas of the Prime Ministry Council very successful. I think it's it's great, John, that uh, we're here because we want to recognize all the folks over the years that have helped us accomplish everything that we've accomplished. It's been a great ride and we keep moving forward so that we can help people in education, employment, and training. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. And uh, now we're 25, 25 years in this organization. What a fantastic accomplishment and uh, providing services to, to uh, residents of Westmoreland and Fayette County for, for over those years and uh, the impact that we're making with young people out of education, it's just fantastic. Absolutely. Right? Well, Tim, I've been with the Private Institute Council for 11 years, and uh, in those 11 years, I've seen tremendous changes in the uh, uh, workforce development and, and change when we have to. Well, I think as we evolve through the years, I always kind of refer to our organization as gap fillers, you know, which was the beauty of the nonprofit organization that we had in Westmoreland and Fayette County. Because you'd have a lot of different government programs, whether it be state or feds, and they would come down with different mandates to try to help dislocated workers or individuals that are coming off the welfare rolls, and they would have contingencies and restrictions to the types of things you wanted to get done. But with us, we could say, well, here's a piece of uh, that particular program that maybe the private industry council could come in and fill that gap mm -hmm. and, and really bring the program together. But because again, back to what we've been doing under the PIT connection and, and showing the whole partnership, private industry council doesn't do anything in a vacuum. We're doing things and we're accomplishing things and we're being very successful because of the partnerships, collaborations, cooperations that we have with other community organizations to get um, things accomplished and to help people move forward and, and see a brighter future for themselves. I absolutely agree with you, Tim. We have been able to uh, establish a lot of great relationships with many, many different organizations. And just to get back to the Private Industry Council TV show and also the Private Industry Council radio show, yeah. we have many, had to have many sponsors in the past that uh, wanted to sponsor the show because they know that the Private Industry Council is out there doing a lot of been uh, had talked with these sponsors in the past. They are excited to be working with goals and objectives that we're trying to achieve folks the impact that we're making and, and what it's all about. So, you know, all through the years, uh, the board and, and their input and their expertise, you know, that's a lot of people went into making that happen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with the current board now, a fantastic uh, board that's sitting right now with us, provides a lot of great direction for this organization. And, you know, and I know they're as proud as I am to, uh, to what we have accomplished. Mm -hmm.